Uh, hi, I'm Dave. Uh, Kyle's filming. My name's Dave Miles. I'm doing this straddle carrier video thing for the course. Um, so I'm going to now do the pre-op and uh, first up I'm going to start with checking sort of before I start the thing. Engine bay and all around. I'm going to go um, check the fluids. This is the first thing I like to do. I've got engines here. We've got plenty in that. Engine oil. I've got the uh, radiator up here. Coolant, which is green. Green means go. Um, while I'm up here, I'm also checking for any leaks or any wet patches or any sort of, uh, 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 um, yeah, any other sort of debris or or crap lying around. We've got a weekly checklist that also goes through, a weekly maintenance program that goes through uh, more in-depth things like the air filters and um, battery terminals, everything else. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got no fuel debris here. I'll check the levels of that later. The other important thing of um, fluids is hydraulic fluid. That's a visual check here. I'm about, I'm about half an inch above the low level here, so I can see that from down here. I'll hit the isolator on whilst I'm in the engine area. Now I'm gonna go do a walk around. And pretty much in the walk around of the machine, I'm gonna check for, um, I like to start up high. So any sort of junctions and leaks that I'll get in the uh, hydraulic hoses or rams or the chains. Um, yeah, any leaks, uh, loose bolts, cracked welds, Anything that looks a bit dodgy there, I've got to flag out. Um, I'm checking tires, any for leaks and mess in down here. Excessive wear and tear, flat spots in the tires. Um, yeah, so I've gone through all the rams. That's it for this. I'll go and do the, um, the key in sort of check now. Okay, so the key in sort of check, I will do the ignition, here's where I can check the fuel levels, just under half a tank, that's good for me, I'll fire this thing up, okay, so now it's, it's operational check, I've got my lights, I've got steering, that's responsive. I've got um, forwards and backs. There's the drive going. Okay, so my front chains are going up, chains are going down, chains are going down, and now they're coming up. But I've just got to do a, um, uh, a pre-op on the actual pins, slings, and this, this sort of uh, uh, rigging equipment here. I always start with making sure the chains are straight and unkinked, and I'm all working my way down. These pins here are in um, and facing down, and they've got their locking loop here. These slings are only a few weeks old, um, so they've got their tag in on the other side. Maybe. 
here. We've had those checked and they're registered in our in our uh, uh, um, asset register thing. I've got. They're big enough and they're suitable for the purpose, these ones. So I haven't got any pins in the middle. Uh, we do often use pins and you've got to check the, um, the, main, the main pin, thread even, and the locking mechanism there. Sometimes that can be faulty, but the pins have to be down with that. But the sheaths are on. We've got our tape area. Yeah. Um, Okay, so that pretty much, once all the, the slings and these pins are all down, we've, um, uh, so now we do a bit of a hazard identification before we lift the load. We've already done a few uh, lifts this morning, so um, there's, no, there's no real debris in our traffic area. We've got, I've got my spotter here, I'll have a conversation with on exactly what we're doing and we'll communicate the lift that way. Um, there's no pedestrians down at the end on the wharf there or going to be underneath. We've got that cordoned off. That's pretty much, yeah, with the machine checked and uh, clear communication and the hazard ID, we're ready to go. What we'll do now is walk down, I'll communicate with the spotter how we're gonna go do this lift. Come on down. Point two, are you filming? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, so this is a Regal 33. Um, uh, it's 6.3 ton and I'm telling my spotter now I've done the knocky de knock test and we've got kind of pretty much where this board comes down. I'm going to see a bulkhead here. That will be my first sling. Around the back I've got a sling mark actually here which is great. Makes a lot of sense. We've got uh, it's a two legs sticking out the back, all the engine and the bulkheads are underneath there. Do you feel confident with this lift? Yeah, I'm confident. All right, that's great. We'll go and do this.
Okay, so I've got the boat. I'm gonna come under now, do a double check with my spider, make sure that I've got everything exactly where I wanna be when I'm carrying it. You've gotta get under and have a look. And I'm pretty happy with all of that. I've got the keel down a bit, but my spider will help me level it out and then move it towards into where we're going to stand it. Thanks. So we got it now into position. My spotter's got me here. We've got three blocks set up. Like I said, this is only, uh, it's a 6.3 ton, 33 footer. So we're gonna have three, three blocks, and then we've got three stands along each side. We're gonna use like the straight tripod stand here. We can use a straight stand here. And one of these more angular ones for the bow, all in line with the blocks. We'll now check We'll now check the bulkheads and set these up. I've just, uh, I've got the block, the three blocks at the bottom taking most of the weight, still a little bit of uh, weight left in the slings. I've put one, two, three either side um, of the stands. They're kind of a little bit loose now. They'll take up the rest of the weight and we'll lay that down. The tripod ones at the back uh, are always important. Three standing in the middle and the sloping, the sloping ones at the bow have always got a chain to prevent them from falling out. Uh, I've uh, sighted it in, I've checked the boat's level, I'm happy, this is where we're gonna do the work. So I'm now gonna get my spotter to uh, lower me down. Oh, I'll lower it down. I'll lower the water.
Okay, for the purposes of the exercise here, I now, um, it's gonna be like, uh, yeah, lower it down, remove the slings, tie them up and drive away and let the people do their work. Um, my work here is all about one last final check. Even that needs work a lot. Still level and good. I'll do a final last check with all the uh, all the stands, and then I'll remove my slings, drive away.